So it's super simple. At first, choose any morph, any character. It does not matter. But what does matter is you selecting home world. Once you've done that, then wait for it to teleport you there. Then choose a character that can fly. So for example, this is the one I'm going to choose. They have flying ability. Once you have your character, then go down to the garden location. Then go ahead and activate your wings. So mine's over here. Scroll down, then click fly. If you're on PC and or computer, then go ahead and click left click in order to move. I don't know what it is on the phone or tablet devices, but head over here and then, oh, let me go up a little bit, drop down here and bump into this spinel trial card. Once you've done that, just give it a second, maybe jump into it a couple times and you'll be sent to the trial world. Now it looks a lot, looks crazy, but trust me, it is very simple. So to get started, you will have 360 seconds the moment you cross that checkered line. And then we're gonna avoid these hands. Now, what's really cool about this is that it doesn't actually kill you instantly. You just lose some health when you get too close to them. Or if you do that, you, <laughs> you know, don't stay around too long with those hands. So yeah, anyways, that is a good example right there. Now let's actually try to get this done. So just keep running, keep running. Oop, hello hands, excuse me. Keep your hands to yourselves, thank you. Okay, that hand was not there at all. And then it just like appeared. There we go, just avoid the gloves. Then over here, just jump off to the side. And ooh, oh boy. Oh no, oh god, oh, okay, we made it, nice. There we go. If your jumping stops working, just spam the jump button a couple times and you should be good to go. All right, excuse me, out of the, nope, bad, ball's bad. <laughs> there we go. Now what's cool about this is there's some spots where you can actually just climb the spiral side until you bump into pretty much like an invisible walkway. Let's see, there we go. Then once you get here, I do suggest, oh, we actually might be able to do it like this. There we go. Oh, okay. You don't need to do that, trust me. But you do want to get to this pink platform right above me. So let me just keep going like so. I know it looks very confusing. Just make sure you get to this point right here. Once you've done that, then we're going to get onto these little balls. And then, oh, there we go. Once you're on this big one, go to the back end. And this will fix bridge number one. This will allow us to continue forward right there. That bridge was not there before. Then what we're gonna do is climb over these, then fix bridge number two, like so. See, you see what's happening here? Then we're gonna cross the bridge. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Then we're gonna go this way. Come on, eh, voila. Oh, wrong way. Uh, where is it? Ah, there's the second bridge. Right there, there it is. It's very hard to tell which way is up and which way is down sometimes. So keep going, keep going until you get to fix bridge button. This is the final one and this will allow us to finally finish, hopefully, the spinel trial. There we go. And then we're gonna go over here and cross over. Now there should be a, a butterfly that you will then interact with by pressing E. Yeah, I know, very magical. And then simply just press space or jump and then touch those cards right there. And that's how you complete the trial. So to start off, just choose a character and go to the home world location. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and choose a character that can fly. This is important. I'm gonna choose her. Then go to Blue Diamond's room. Once you are there, head over this way, and we're gonna go ahead and equip our wings. Scroll down the left side, and then click fly. If you're on PC and keyboard, just go ahead and left click. I don't know what it is on mobile or tablet devices. Now, if you bump into an invisible wall, like how I am right now, 
just fly around, keep pushing forward. Sometimes it just acts weird and doesn't let you go past. So just keep moving forward until there you go, until it lets you up. You're going to this little bit of, I guess, blue. I call it the blue tic tac. Touch this card, it will then teleport you to the blue spinel trial. So once you are here, the moment you cross this checkered line, your time begins. Boom. 360 seconds on the clock. Now these platforms right here are slippery, so be careful. Jumping is very helpful here. It helps control your person, your avatar, from slip and sliding. Here I do recommend waiting till you can jump onto a bigger part of this platform. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. There we go. Boom. Get a little closer and then jump on up. That part might be a little difficult. Might take you a couple tries to get on top of it. It's taken me a good bit to get used to all this. I've had to restart many times. Your vision will go dark here, but only temporarily until you get to the end. Now avoid those water drops. They will not kill you immediately, but they will hurt you. They'll make you sit down kind of like a stun uh, effect. So here, you're just going to run on this platform, this narrow pathway. It does not slide. It's not slippery. No worries. Ah, there we go. So that's a good example of the water. Here's the hand. We're going to avoid it like so. And oh, no. Anyways, though, we're going to keep on going. Avoid the hand and the water. I like to think of these as my tears from all this pain I've been going through. Well, I'm going to wait for this hand. There we go. And we'll keep going forward. Oh, gosh. I don't know what hit me there. What is hitting me? That is weird. It was not anything. Anyways, hug the right side here or the left. It does not matter. Either way will work. Just avoid the big snowball. And it just keeps resetting over and over. I'm going to wait for it to come back. Because I'm pretty weak right now. So I do not want to risk any extra pain. <laughs> Which this trial is very pain. It's so random that at some points I get close. And then I get dead. So anyways right here we're going to go ahead and drop on down. A little shortcut you can do is simply jumping off the edge there. And landing on the platform. Avoid the snowballs being launched from that cannon you can just hug the side here if you want then here i suggest just keep jumping because it will turn you into a rag doll because it's a slide so here we go i'm gonna wait for that mm, nope okay there we go here you're gonna drop on down or jump down if you want get on the elevator hands and here we go this is where it can get a little crazy and dicey because it's so random that these balls come out of nowhere. And then the next part over here are the hands. These hands are terrible. You gotta get on them, I suggest, as quickly as possible. But then you've gotta, it's, oh God, it is so bad. This is terrible. I don't even know where I am. There we go. What I suggest you do is you get on one hand and then you just hop off of it when you are able to because it's just too crazy to just stay on the hand and then make your way across so just keep doing what i'm doing just get on the hand and then hop on off you can actually there we go Woohoo! you want to get on this elevator hand it will take you up boom and there is the trial card go ahead and touch that and you'll get the badge so to start off, choose any character, it does not matter, but then head over to the home world. Once you've selected that, then this is where you should use a character that can fly. So I'm going to go ahead and use her. Then we're going to go to Yellow Diamond's room. Once you've done that, what we're going to do is then head over here, but first turn on your wings, then click fly, and then left click to start flying if you're on PC and keyboard. If you're not, I don't know what the buttons are. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and bump into that card, which will then teleport us to the trial location. All right, so once you're here, what we're gonna do, cross the checker line and the timer 
will begin. These spikes will hurt you, but they will not kill you. You will then receive a double jump here or a, a super jump and just go ahead and keep going forward. Just make sure you give yourself plenty of space to land onto these platforms because it can be a bit. Woo, I forgot I'd lose my jump. <laughs> There we go. Here I suggest you do like a sideways jump like so. So then your feet do not touch the, I guess, the electricity. You know, you don't want to get electrified. Even though you might be electrifying. There we go. Boom. And then boom. I almost fell. There we go. And voila. Then walk across this. It does not matter which way you go, left or right. But I do like going to the right. So I'm going to go to the right. Also, if you fall, you've got a little platform right below you. So, you know, if you make a mistake, you should be safe. If not, good luck. <laughs> All right, here we go. And then we're just going to hop over these bars like so. The actual electric effect does not hurt you. Now, this is where it gets tricky because these hands are really annoying so i'm gonna wait for them and the thing that's hitting you is when it goes across it's not the actual hand itself see like it is but it isn't it, it's hard to explain oh there we go oh ow uh, i've been electrified it's hard to see where the actual platforms are but as you can see it does not permanently kill you it just stuns you and makes you sit down there we go Let's try this again. There we go. And whoop. Voila. This is electrifying. How many times am I going to say that joke? As many times as I want. Get on the elevator hand. Hop on off. Boom. Now we're going to have to do this. Boom. And then. Oh, I guess I could have gone. There we go. Uh, when is that one? There we go. This part does not have a time limit. You just take your time. You know, don't rush it. Except, well, you are on a timeline, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you get what I say, right? All right, there we go. Oh, oh, ah, 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 what's happening? <laughs> what is going, okay. Let's restart that. There we go. Oh my God. This is bad, bro. All right, there we go. And then voila. Let's just get on past all this. And then what we got to do, oh boy, this is where it gets tricky. We've got to get across without getting hurt by that other hand. Wait for him and then go. Wee, boom. This is where it gets fun. This is, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Boom, boom. I do suggest staying near the edge sort of or near the middle once you get near that hand. All right, let's just wait for a little bit. Oh, God. Woo. That hand hurt me. All right. Woo. All right. That is probably the hardest part right there. Everything else should be relatively easier now. You take your time with these fists because they can glitched out sometimes. They look like they are going away, but then they snap back to you. Snap, crackle, pop. Boom. All right. Let's keep going. No. What is happening? All right, let's try this one more time. So these hands, man, they they are just they're all handsy. They they like to keep things interesting. <laughs> but I do recommend getting oh gosh, maybe not too close, but pretty close. So the moment those hands move away, you just start moving forward. So you give yourself plenty of time to get past them without being destroyed. There we go. And then go across. Boom. All right. And then, oop, we got a little too close to that one. Come on, hand. And go. <laughs> Never thought I'd be afraid. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Who knew? Game punch in the face would knock you down. Who would have thought? And here we go. Get onto this hand elevator once it comes down. And voila. It is the Spinel Yellow Trial card. Touch it and you'll get the badge. 
So start off by clicking any character, but then go to the home world location. Once you're there, then you can choose any character you want. It does not matter. Just make sure you can get to where we need to go, which is the white diamonds room. Once you're there, head over to the back left pillar right here. And behind it, you will see a card. Go ahead and bump into that card. It will then teleport you to the white spinels trial location. All right, here we are. Once you cross this line, your trial begins. 360 seconds on the clock. Now, you do want to avoid these laser beams. They do not kill you immediately, but they do hurt you quite a bit, especially if you just stand in it, which is probably not a wise decision. You know, I'm no doctor, but standing in front of lasers is usually not a great way to do things. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's great about these hands is when they're in a fist, that means they are not going to come out and hit you yet. When they come out like that, as like open hand, that means they are coming out to get you. So, you know, you're actually getting a little warning. Also, these lights here are actually hurting you. So be careful of that. Quickly get onto this. So then you're not no longer getting hit by the light. This is where it gets pretty tricky because you've got to get onto these other cog wheels or star cogs in order to progress. Now you do have to get off of it in order to then get onto the next one, which is going to be, whew. let me see if I can get a good angle. It's so hard to get a good angle. There we go. And come on, gotta get a little closer. It's so difficult to do it because you got to get the camera just right to where it then registers that you want to get onto the other one. All right, here we go. I think I got it. Yep, there we go. So it does help to have it pointing upwards. And now we gotta go into this next one. I'm gonna wait and then hop off. This, at least it doesn't make you spin as you're on the cog wheel. It would it just make things so much harder if that was the case. All right, let's see. Do I have a... Yep, there we go. There's really no correct or right way. You just got to make sure you get the timing just right. Which I guess that is the right way. But other than that, it's, you know, it's all up to you how fast you can react. There we go. And then our next one, this is the last one right here. There we go. Just scoot in a little closer. There we are. It's a little easier when they're closer together. But there we go. Once you're here, we now got to wait for the outline to show up. There we go. You got to step here, hop over, and then walk forward all the way. There we go. And then we're going to wait for the next one. There we go. So diagonal, diagonal, boom, 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 boom. Hop on over and then diagonal, diagonal. You can just simply jump across right there. Then our next one, what we've got to do is I believe, yep, we have to get close to this cog wheel. We've got it. There it is. Boom. We'll go wait for a little bit. Just stay on the cog wheel as the hands are there because you will get knocked off. To get back on the cog wheels again. And then what we're gonna do is get onto the Oh, oh no. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Oh, come on. There. Eh. There we go. And then the next one. And then the next one. And then the next one. And there we go. Alright, you do want to get grabbed by that hand. My apologies. Then you are just going to run for dear life through this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is a party in here, people. I do love myself a party. Party, party, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Just keep running. Just keep running, guys. Just don't stop. Don't, don't look at anything. Just keep going. Don't give up. Oh boy. There we go. Just keep running, just keep running. Oh, <laughs> and boom. You make it to the end, get onto the hand elevator, and voila, there is our card. Just go ahead and bump into it, and that is how you get 
the trial.